Hello. Hi. You must be Mrs. Tam's mom. I'm Sheldon's dad, George Cooper. Nice to meet you. Thanks for letting him spend the night. It's his first sleepover. He's excited. Actually, I'm quite apprehensive. He's really looking forward to it. Uh, in case something comes up, just give us a holler. I mean a call. If you hollered, we wouldn't hear you. <laughs> that, that was a joke. <laughs> okay, buddy. Have fun. Visiting Tam's house for the first time was an emotional roller coaster. For example, it's traditional in Vietnamese homes to have gruesome religious iconography near the entrance. I did not like that. However, it's also customary to not wear shoes around the house for sanitary reasons. I did like that. Interestingly, one of the main ingredients in Vietnamese cooking is an extremely pungent condiment known as fish sauce. I did not like that. But before every meal, it's common for everyone to wash their hands and face. I did like that. Forks are not customary in a Vietnamese household. I did not like that. And instead of napkins, there was one towel for everyone to share at the table. Seriously, what are they thinking? I can't help thinking how odd it is that Shelly volunteered to go on a sleepover. Oh, I don't know. It's growing up. It's natural for a young boy to want to spread his wings a little bit, try something new. That's nonsense. Last week I brought home the raisin bran with the sugar on the raisins. He almost lost his mind. You ask me, you're worried about nothing. Maybe it's me. Maybe I did something to upset him. What are you talking about? He loves you like crazy. Much more than he loves this one. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. I just feel like something isn't right. Mom! I got my hair stuck in my zipper! That's the kid you need to be worried about. Okay, Connie, why don't we just come clean? No. You heard her. Now she's blaming herself. And Sheldon's so upset, he's, he's acting like a regular kid. All right, let's tell her. Thank you. But first, I might tell her what you did at the picnic. Oh, Mary! Okay, okay. Shh. I don't know how much longer we can keep this going. I'm willing to find out. So this game is called Mystic Warlords of Ka'a. It's pretty fun. There are six kinds of secret warlords. Secret yeah. warlords. It's a secret. A secret. It's a secret. Have you noticed anything off with Sheldon? Something between me and you. Mom is on a need to no basis. I took a little look in his body journal. It's a secret. Several days without a bowel movement. Tell the secret. A secret. A secret. Sheldon. Did you hear anything I said? Sorry, I was reliving a traumatic experience. What do you mean? Tam, I have a secret that's weighing on me and I need to tell someone. Okay, tell me. But I promised I wouldn't. Okay, then don't. But it's driving me crazy. Too bad you're not Catholic. You could confess it to a priest. That's a great idea. You're Catholic, I'll confess it to you. I'm not a priest. I'm not a Catholic. It makes perfect sense. Okay, whenever you're ready. What are you doing? I'm assuming the position. Okay. Forgive me, Tam, for I have sinned. This is my first confession. I forgive you, my son. I was doing my parents' taxes and noticed a check was missing. I asked As my As I walked about Tam it. through the whole sordid affair, I could feel a weight lifting off my shoulders. It was a relief to finally unburden myself of this deception. By the time I reached the end, I felt like a new person. That's the whole story. Cool. Can we play now? And now that my conscience had been cleared, my colon was ready to do the same. Excuse me, I need to use your bathroom! 